Do you know who got done the dirtiest in this series? It's that guy named Derek in the last episode. Bro was just minding his own business, attending to the tea party. A boar shows up, claps. Did he even have a line? Bro is dead. What the fuck? Only so that Sophie can show up and like replace his job. No, it's not like that. But I'm just thinking to myself, what did Derek do? Nothing. But he was sacrificed. It's nice to see how everything kind of um, led to the point of Sophie going to the school, her hair changing because her mana was like depleted. And now I guess we're going to meet Rudius. Probably not so early, but we'll see what happens. Let's start today's reaction. I think this is one of the blonde girls that we saw in the trailer. He's in his uh, emo boy phase right now, right? Yes, a girl gave us a one night stand and left. Now, our sense of value is gone. Not that do we even have any sense of value, actually? I don't really think so. He's at his lowest point, isn't he? <laughs> true, kind of true. I like her. She's feisty. Oh, I like like Eris. Don't tell me she's th he's thinking about Eris because he remind. Oh no, dude, you gotta move on. What is going on with Zenith though? Because I think in the trailer or the end of season one, we saw her imprisoned in some kind of like almost underwater place. This is interesting because you know how OP Rudius is, you know, as like a user of magic, and he's going to like a magic centric, you know, land. I wonder how much people will recognize his incantationless magic as well as just how OP he is at his age. Bro, it's Eris' hair. Bro, just... You need to... I don't know. This is not healthy. You need to get over this. You can't look at this. I, you gotta just like almost like leave it behind. Like throw it away. But he could never do that right now. It was a good run. Salute dead end. Wiped out? Uh, not not really, but kind of. I don't know. Don't need one. I'm a, I'm a solo party. Lady, you have no idea. Lady, you got no idea how strong we are. Huh? Huh? What was that? Oh, there's Suzanne again. But what? Does he have some kind of sickness? It's what happens when I. <laughs> when you simp over a girl and she just leaves like that. It's just. God. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? If Andrew Tate was a thing here, I think Rudy could accidentally go down that pipeline of. <laughs> you know? <laughs> the, you know, like, fuck women. We know. It's a self focus on yourself. And maybe there's some truth to that, but. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Oh, green hair. Not a spared, but I don't know. Reminds her of like Sophie's, you know, when she was a kid. She had like short green hair like that. I don't think Sarah likes him at all. <laughs> Bro, he's not just support though. He's not just support. <laughs> Y'all have no clue. Sarah and Rudy seems to be at, you know, their first impressions are pretty bad. But judging by the trailer, it really looks like she was the one trying to really help him out, right? So eventually, she'll they'll get to know each other. And even though it's so hostile right now, I bet she will be the most, like, kind to Rudy. Maybe she really will end up saving Rudy? But <laughs> Jesus. But it's also so bad that he's just, like, seeing Eris in her. And he might be, like, latching on to that because of the familiarity. It makes him feel comfortable. It's so... Ah, you gotta move on, man. Seven creep powers my ass! <laughs> my man drank way too much. Name name your incantation. And and name your fucking, you know, the tier of magic you can do. Suzanne didn't look too impressed, but the guys from behind were like, what? No handshake? Come on, dude. It's unprofessional. Okay, we get it. Hey, Jesus. You don't have to tell us that. That part is kind of important, though. Yeah, don't fuck up. <laughs> kind of? Everything's a learning experience. You can see that they're helping you out, too, in the long run. Oh no. 
It really is Yelena and Eris, huh? Fuck. The similarities are all there. You should just hard carry them. He, he really could though. Nah, we don't have to worry about mana. Don't worry about that shit. We got a lot of that. They're just Jesus. Sarah is kind of right, objectively, right? But damn, they're just really clutch. I don't, I don't know if it's just me, but Rudy almost seems like he's kind of like enjoying the familiarity of getting shit on by Sarah, because Eris would kind of do the same kind of things too. So even though he's getting shit on, he's like, oh yes, berate me more. <laughs> what the fuck? Hopefully it's not like that. You got no clue, bro. You got no clue. Oh, he also didn't mention one of the powers, right? The, the, uh, the demon eye. Damn. Your loved ones aren't dead. You know, they can, they can all reunite one day. Dude, Rudy could just nuke him at once, right now. Fuck, wow, they could hear the incantations. <laughs> oh! Or he can just nuke him. Ah, it's not enough. There he goes! Okay, let's go. I love how he keeps repeating the same thing over and over again. Hmm? What is that sound? Something else is coming. Everyone's like, what the fuck is he listening to the snow for? But something else is coming, right? Bro is still incantation the same fight. This is like the fifth time. Exile Inferno. <laughs> but, oh. That's not the Luster Grizzlies. It's time for our boy Rudy to show them how to handle them. But if they're covered in mud, then what happens? Do they have some kind of resistance, maybe? Oh. Shit. That's the terrifying thing about his D and I too. Is like if you can see the future and you can see like the you, you can't dodge it, right? You can see what's gonna happen, but if you can't dodge it, it's like shit. You might as well die, dude. Move! Someone might actually die in this party because Rudy might just like just give up. Oh shit! I hope nobody actually dies. Oh, uh, no, 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 no! Rudy, do something! Oh, can you imagine that sword landed on her? Bro, fucking make a move! Cause... Then the party would just no, collapse. Exciting. Exciting? He's getting off by this? What? Working as a party and relying on each other is kind of reminding you of Dead End? It's for the sake of your comrades. Oh, it looks like we actually made it out alive. Everything is fine. And Rudy didn't do anything. Oh no, there's still more bears. Now, Rudy, do something. Show Sarah what you can do. Oh, here he goes. Oh shit, here he goes. The staff is out. Let's watch. The look on his face and the voice changed there. Hi, hey, that's so dead anymore. Oh. oh shit! Everybody's watching this, right? Suzanne, wake up! You gotta see this! Damn! 
look at the way he leads in with the foot. Yeah, the X flame incantation can't really match up to that, huh? I wonder what kind of tier magic that was, but regardless, I'm sure Sarah is going to have like a different attitude towards Rudy now because it's like, oh shit, he can actually, oh, he can put in some work. This is probably the least fun part of, you know, the hunt, skinning and, you know, getting all the different materials. I want Sarah to say something like, I'm sorry. It looks like his emo face is already done. Right? Oh, that burnt hand though. Uh. Sarah, turn your head and say something. Come on. Oh, she looks like she's going to apologize or something. Or like a, a thank you. Hey, no, no, don't worry about it, girl. Don't worry about it, girl. There's more. For, there's more. If you want to see more. Hmm. Culture here is pretty cold towards foreigners, huh? We are hot shit, though. What the fuck you mean? Look at all this pelt we got. Yo, come fight us then, bitch. The drinks are on us. Maybe they're two mole chains? I can be like, oh shit. <laughs> these motherfuckers. I hate outsiders. Fuck these guys. They think they're such hot shit. And then some drinks. Oh my god. Oh. Let's go. That was a nice gesture from Suzanne. Okay, he really needed this. He really needed this. This pain, though. Am I forgetting something from season one? Does using the demon eye, like, um... What's it called? Hurt him? <laughs> Wait, is that... Is that, is that the holy... Is that the sacred relic? Oh, no, no. Is it? I thought it was kept safe in a little box. <laughs> that, I, I'm not crazy, right? <laughs> That's not the sacred relic, right? I think it actually is a sacred relic if you are transitioning to her. <laughs> Was Bro actually crying into her panties? <laughs> Maybe burn the hair. Don't keep it around. I don't know if it... Depends on how you, like, use the hair, but you need to move on. Yes, throw it in there. Throw it. It's kind of fucked up. <laughs> you think about it, because Aerith like left that as like a last party gift, but it's also not healthy to be like looking at it and be like, oh, Aerith, why did you leave me? I really thought that we we're gonna get emo Rudy and just being just so down and depressed for a couple episodes, only for the rest of the party to like hype him up. But damn, the pacing we got done in one episode. That's that's actually so good because it, I think a lot of people would have found it really annoying that Rudy was just like being all emo and it's like, come on, dude, like you can believe in yourself. But they handled that in one episode. We're good. We got a new party. What are we doing right now? We're just kind of chilling with this new party. We're in this like land of the magic. So I'm going to guess that somehow we're going to eventually go to the school on top of the mountains. And then Sophie is also, I think, wasn't she like recruiting Rudy at the end of season one, right? So eventually we're going to end up at the school. But first, we got to kind of just hang out with the party for now. Is there anything that's going to happen with Sarah? I don't know. Maybe Rudy's the one that's going to break Sarah's heart this time. Ah! We'll see what happens. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for even more content. And until next time, take care.